hello everyone it's your boy audio monkey welcome to my page today i'm going to show you how to make an afrobeat instrumental um this is 95 ppm and um it's in the key of g minor so i'm just gonna play it real quick and then we're gonna break it down and go through everything in the track um the effects in the track so this is what it sounds like So guys that is what the beat sounds like and um it's quite <laughs> there's, there's quite a lot of stuff going on inside this particular beat um but this is like this is what the track was built around basically So that's the first thing on the beat, right? And yep. So that is, or this is rather a, this is a percussive loop. Um, now, if you've been watching my videos at this point, you're gonna see you know i use this a lot it's really important you know you need precautions and while you can make this from scratch you know shakers and little um sticks and wood blocks and all that kind of stuff there are a lot like there, there are a ton of loops available online this but this particular loop is from um a guy named micah micah is a very 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 dope afrobeast producer one of the best honestly man you know shout out to producer micah um i have a lot of his stuff what a lot of watch a lot of his videos also so this is i don't i honestly don't even know what kids this is from but it is a loop and so the clap the clap follows that and it's already a vibe man you know so yeah that's it man the kick is the kick is i don't know where the kick is from but it's just an ordinary 808 kick um it's usual stuff this is a weird EQ EQ do but i mean it is what it is this is from soft clipper and sausage fat now for the kick um the claps are there, there's a lot of stuff here actually this is <laughs> this is quite a lot man <laughs> this is um very low it's a that's a snare this is a snare also this is this is like a stick 
um yeah basic effects all i do on my all these things is just eq this is the clap this is the main sound that's that's very audible you know uh yeah it basically eq compressor like every other thing you know? then nothing on that no effects on that so um uh aside that <laughs> So basically, I scored this melody, and I, you know, I came up with the, like I scored it, programmed the MIDI notes of it, and um, let me see what instrument this is. This is Expand. Um, yeah, it's Expand. It's stereo vib stereo vib vibraphone or vibraphone or <laughs> whatever. Um, that is that. Uh, the shakers. Now this is a bass pluck. This is a pluck bass rather from Omnisphere. Unfortunately, I've already exported it, so I can't show you guys. But if you want to check it out, the name of the patch is Omnisphere Energy Pluck Bass. You know, I had to export it so that um i can record this video properly you know atmosphere is quite large and cpu and all that stuff so i think it's pretty much the same okay no this is so when you hear when you hear an afrobeats track you you may hear one melody and you think it's like oh okay that is a dope melody you'll be wondering what instrument that is but it's it's not always necessarily an instrument it's usually a blend of different instruments layered together you understand to sound like one you know but you you always have to do that a lot of times you know to get the beats to sound proper you understand you need to layer so at the intro there's some stuff going on you know uh let me mute everything I think there are some effects that come in at the intro, you know. Audio, audio, funky, funky. So this is, sorry, excuse me, guys. So um, this is a shaker. This is like a shaker effect, you know. I put a lot of reverb on it to just make it sound, you know, to give it that vibe of, you know, like a, like a, they call it, like it's like a down, like a downfall effect. So it kind of helps transition the track, you know, so that helps transition the, transition it into like the pre-hook, you feel me? And then there is this, this is a random sample. I don't know where I got it from, from just a random pack and I believe I didn't even pitch it, you know, funny enough, it was some somehow on the same key as the beat. So I just put it there and it fits. So now we have um we have drum rolls, right? The drum rolls here are let me play them solo so you can have a feel of how they sound just you know on their own. So the main thing here is this, I believe, you know, it's a feel, it's a drum feel, um, and um, I put this also, this is a clap, but you get Then there's this also, you know, you always have to build when you're making Afro beats. Like you have to do a lot of layering. You have to do a lot of stuff, you know, so. Then this is an 808 clap. This is a classic Afro beats. 
um effect you know the clap the delay and the reverb you know so this is a what what type of delay is this i think this is a the time is um set to four steps yeah four steps you know so excuse me so that's how you do that you know and so uh let's go into the other parts of the track see what else is there to cover <laughs> So just before the verse comes in, we have this. Um, it's a layer. Uh, is, where is this from? Let me see. Okay, this is definitely from Omnisphere. Yeah, Omnisphere. Because it's already taking time to load. Yeah, so this is a plug from Omnisphere. And it just helps. It helps support. Let me solo it so that I can hear what I'm talking about. So it is supporting the second part of the loop. So it just helps it come out nicer and makes it sound better. That is why that is there. You understand? And this is a different drum feel, you know, or you have to always change, switch the things up. If you use the same drum feels throughout the whole track, it's, it's it, you know, it's bound to sound boring, so I had to put a different drum feel here. You know, that sounds dope, man. This is an effect. You know, that's a dope effect. And this is... Dope drum feel. I don't know where that's from. And, you know, normal clap. I use that same clap at the first part. You know, so you get, so this is just normal Afrobeats vibes. You feel me? You have to always put all these things in your beats to make them sound nice. And um, yeah, so let me, let's move forward. So this is it. This is um a piano. This is for the verse. I didn't want to put this loop throughout the whole song. You know, you always have to put some kind of variation on, you know, when you build a song and you build a chord progression and using an instrument, you know, to play that chord progression, you always want to switch it up, you know, put something different so it doesn't play throughout the whole song and make the song sound boring. So when the verse comes in, I take this loop out and I use an electric piano as a main um, elements of the verse and this is the piano these are the, oh, these are the piano chords rather um i just built this from the loop so yeah let me see what piano it is exactly it's um it's Rhodes Tyne at nine effects, nothing too fancy, I'm sure. Yeah, just basic stuff, EQ, reverb, you know. And that's that. But there's a lead sound at this point. Um where is it? Okay, yeah, it's from silent, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, silent. And you know, let me play it. So I'm going to play it with the E piano.
So yes, 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 that's that. And you know, I, I used the flanger effect on this and it really made it sound dope. Let me play without the flanger effect. So you see, sound, see if you can, you know, get the difference. You know, it just made it sound, you know, more exciting, you know, brighter. So uh, that's that, man. You know. So at the second part of the verse, just before the hook comes in, I added this lead sound and it's from Silent. This is a pretty basic lead. I've already exported it as you can see, it's a wave. It's literally just like one note lead sound and uh, it's for the second part of the verse. And that's the end of the verse. And uh, yes, we also I also added um, this is an effect, you know, it's a vocal sample one, you know, put some delay on it, you know. So that is quite simple. There's that. There's also a second one. I'm trying to figure out where that one is. I think this is. It. Yeah, Abby. Yeah. So that's that. This is a chant. It's just. To, it's just to feel the beat up. Basically, that's all these things are there for. You know, make the beat sound exciting. You know, you don't want your beats to sound boring. So you have to always add different effects different samples stuff like that to just beef it up at different places to make it sound nice and enjoyable from the beginning to the end so now in case you noticed or if you paid if you're paying close attention you notice that before this part where the hook comes in again there is like a break you know i chopped out all the you know major parts of the track to give room for the drum rolls to hit hard and also when you're making music you're programming beats you know you can't always put everything together at the same time if not the instruments will clash the frequencies will clash and everything will sound messy when you want to do a drum roll if you want it to hit really hard at times you just have to take out all the other parts of the song and leave maybe just this this is a lead sound and that allows it you know track to transition better you know it kind of makes the build up better and it's better for your afrobeat instrumentals um but yes that is pretty much it um yeah that's pretty much everything in the track and i hope you guys learned something from this video and definitely going to be dropping more stuff too so stick around if you liked this video and if you learned something or saw something cool you know put a thumbs up put a comment like share you know all the usual stuff and this is me signing out till next time